I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a border. And we're going to be drawing more than one border. And usually a border surrounds a main image. So before we actually start the border, we're going to do our main image. So put a dot right about there. And we're going to draw a wavy, wavy line down and leave it floating. We come back up to the top and we're going to draw a curved line out in connect, come down, draw a curved line down, in connect, and right here we're just going to draw a curved line out, back, connect. Right back here at the top I'm just going to draw a curved line, leave it floating, curved line in on the right, curved line in on the left, straight line, straight line, connect. Come down to the next space. Curve line, curve line in on the right, curve line in on the left, straight line, straight line, connect. Come down here at the next space, curve line, curve line in on the right, in on the left, straight line, straight line, connect. One more on the opposite side, curve line, curve line in on the right, in on the left, straight line, straight line, connect. And if you want to, you can just do one more curve line, straight line in, I mean curve line on the right, curve line on the left, straight line, straight line, connect. So this is our main image and you go, you know, I'd really like to put a border. So the easiest border you can do to finish off your lines, I mean finish off your edges, is just a straight dotted line. And that one little addition to your drawing finishes off the edges of your paper. Now you can move your paper around. I'm leaving mine straight, but as you're doing this you can always move your paper so that you get a straight edge. Then you look at it and you go, you know, I want to add something else. Just add a dot. Same thing. You just repeat whatever your image or line you're doing all the way around the edge of your uh, paper. So you keep going up, 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 over, 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 done. Now you look at it and you go, mm, I think I'd like to add one more thing. So you come over to the left and you put a dot and you draw a curve line in, curve line in, connect. Come down, put a dot, curve line out, curve line in, connect. And you do a whole row of that image going down, keep going, Keep going. So now you've got a dotted line, you have a dot, and you have a repeating symbol. Now you come over to the right and do it again. Put a dot, put a dot, keep going, all the way down, put a dot, keep going, keep going. Now you get to make a choice. You could either continue your hearts going across the top and the bottom, or if you want to, you can now switch and add a different border. Now for some people, one border is enough. <clears throat> for other people, they'll say, ah, it's too boring. So for this one, we're gonna do a triangle, straight line, triangle, straight line, Triangle, straight line, triangle, straight line, all the way down. Okay, now we're going to switch and we're going to go over. Straight line, triangle, straight line, triangle, 
straight line triangle, straight line triangle. Come back up to the right, straight line triangle, and we're continuing our border all the way down, all the way across, and now we're going to finish the one on top. So sometimes a border can go all the way around like our triangle straight lines. Sometimes you can just stop on one image. Okay. Now I look at it and I go, you know, I could squeeze one more thing in there. I'm going to put a dot and I'm just going to do some exploding stars which are basically straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. And they don't have to be even. That's why this is a good one. You can, okay, now you're going to make your turn. Let's put it right here. You can see we're getting a little squished. So this will probably be the last one, the last border that will do. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, excuse me, is I made another sample of different types of borders, which I'll show you after we color this one. So you can see that basically a border can be anything you want because it's a repeating pattern. And it's also how much time do you want to take. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, to keep this simple, I'm just using regular crayon colors. So I'm going to do green on my main image. Now, what's interesting about my main image is that this could be a border also. A border can be anything you want, it just depends on how much time you want to take on drawing it. So that I did green, and all these little flowers, these spaces I did red. And as I always say to you, you may change the colors on any of this. Now, borders are also good for projects, name titles for projects, written reports. Borders are great. Okay, so I did that red and green. I flipped over. And now I'm going to work my way inside out. So for all of these little starburst explosions, I'm just going to do yellow all the way down and out. And again, you may use any colors you want. That's what also is great about borders. You, you decide the color sequences. You decide what you want to do to make yours look unique and different from the kid next to you. Okay, next I just took my regular blue and I colored in all my baby triangles. Now, when you do a baby triangle with a straight line, all of a sudden you have an arrow. So that's the other thing you'll decide is are you going to use these as symbols or are you going to use these like an arrow? And again, you can choose any colors you want. These are the ones I used. It's up to you. The main thing to remember, it's finishing off the edge of your paper. Okay? Last one. Just to do a different color, I did pink hearts. All the way down. Now remember, the very first one we started was just black, straight lines, and a dot. And that looks very nice also. You don't have to draw anything more than that. These are just examples of what you can do. And I'll show you another one in just a minute. Hokey dokey. Artichokey. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my borders all colored in. Remember, you begin with the main image and then you can work your way around the edge of the paper. I'm going to show you another example. Hold on. Okay, here's another sample. Here's our dotted line with dots, circle dotted line. Here is our flower, stars, hearts, 
triangles, squares, and fish. Anything can be a border. Okay, bye-bye.